everybody, Mike Stuchiner, Master Herbalist here, and today is another video in the long series of videos that I will be doing with Z Natural Foods uh, as a part of the Herb and Superfood Education Program. Today's video is actually a continuation of the last video on book recommendations. The reason why this particular video is separated from the other one is because the first book recommendation uh, video was based on herb books. These are more based on life type books, lifestyle type books, which are going to talk, which I go into, as you're well aware, of um, <clears throat> I go into all of these topics like simplicity and self-reliance uh, throughout the uh, throughout the program. So therefore, I think that these are really important books that if you'd like to expand on your knowledge on these topics, and if any of these areas resonate with you, these are great books that you can continue to read to expand on your education here, okay? So let's begin. The first book I'm going to recommend is called Your Money or Your Life. Now, this is by far my favorite if you want to consider it a finance book. This is not about making money. This is not some money-making thing. What this really is, is it's a book that basically helps you set up a way of learning how to spend your money. And it teaches you throughout the process of what you've been spending your money on up to this point in your life and how you can correct any mistakes you've been making if you feel that there even are mistakes. Okay, we, um, you know, most people are very self-indulgent with what they want, and most people, uh, in many cases, they they buy things that are not necessarily necessities. It's more wants than anything else. Uh, so this will teach you where you're spending your money because oftentimes when I speak to people about this topic, one of the things I've noticed over the years is is that when you ask people about their finances, it's like right over their head. They don't even know where half their money is going. And this is a great guide to help teach you where your money is going and how you're spending your money. Okay, so again, the book is called Your Money or Your Life. Okay, the second book is <clears throat> on the topic of simplicity. It's called Choosing Simplicity. Pretty simple, right? So this book is actually a collection of stories based on a three-year study that was done by a physician on the effects of making simple changes in one's life in order to see profound results, okay? The reason I like this book, to be completely honest, is, is that I like the fact that it's a series of stories and you hear each individual story. So every time you open this book, it's like reading a new book. Um, again, it's one of these books that the first time you read it, certain stories might resonate with you. The next time you read it, other stories might resonate with you. It really depends where in your life you are and how much of a break you've taken in between uh, reading the book, you know, the first time to the second time. I am a big fan, as you know, based on my last video, and I'll tell you again, I am a huge fan, actually, of reading books two, three, four. I've read some books eight or nine times, okay? I'm a believer in the fact that what you learn the first time versus the second time and third time, more things come out, more things resonate with you. And to be honest with you, when we read books sometimes, our eyes might see something, but our mind might not necessarily process all that, in, all that information. So therefore, that's why I'm someone who always encourages people to read books multiple times, okay? Even if it's years in between, it doesn't make a difference, okay? The third and final book is called Taking Responsibility, Reliance and the Account, excuse me, Self-Reliance and the Accountable Life. Now, this is a big topic for me because I'm, I'm all about self-reliance and I love the concept behind self-reliance because that's how I try and live my life, okay? And this is, as um, I'm sure at this point you know, that when you read the, the Herb and Superfood program, I go into several areas where I talk about how taking responsibility for your well-being and taking responsibility for what you've done to yourself is the beginning of the healing process. This is a wonderful book to help break that down and make you understand why it's so important that you take responsibility if you really want to become healthier. 
Okay, guys? So those are my three book recommendations um, in terms of life-type books or lifestyle books. And that's it for today. Have a great day. I'll see you soon.